I'm going to use the rest of the meat from the cabbage rolls, some of the little leaves that are left from the cabbage being prepped, and I'm going to put them on the bottom just like I did for the cabbage rolls, lining the bottom of the pot. Put a little bit of sauerkraut on the bottom of that, sort of flake it around. Just added flavor, gives you something to get to the bottom of, which I like, I love the cabbages. Now have a little bit of residue of the tomato sauce from the cabbage roll, so I'm going to use it as well. Clean out the bowl with the spatula. I mean, basically I came up with this recipe because I had excess. So I took one zucchini, it's quite large, and I'm going to use a can of cream style corn. So I take the leftover meat and I put it on the outside edge of the pot. Sort of create a ring. Sometimes I don't make as many cabbage rolls and I make more of this, this meatloaf. Push it down, sort of uniform it, play with it. It's surprising when I when I made this recipe the first time I thought for sure it was gonna taste like a a repeat of um, the cabbage rolls, but it it didn't. It it gets its own flavor and texture, being that it's I don't know, I guess it's the combination. I, I have no idea, I was just pleasantly surprised. I uh, think outside the box and I come up with different ideas for doing different things. This is one of my newest ones. Now I'm going to take the zucchini and just put it in the center And the, the vegetable that you put in the center, today I'm using zucchini, another time I use broccoli. It just depends on what I have in the kitchen. It, there's no right or wrong to do this. You could make this recipe, I suppose, with any meat mixture. It's just how I came up with this one. So I like to get enough veggie in the center so that when you take a scoop out you get veggie meat and there's rice in the meat mixture so there isn't going to be a lack of a starch in this meal as well there's enough moisture in the zucchini and the sauerkraut and whatnot that the rice should be fine and then I take a can of cream corn and I just pour it over top. I'm using the back of my knife. And I'll do the same thing with this pot as I've done with the cabbage rolls, which is go into manual mode. Oh, I missed a couple pieces. Let's put those there. So over to the Instapot. This pot is my oldest pot. I've had it for almost four years. Lock the lid, put the valve to the back as we're pressure cooking, use manual mode, goes into 30, high pressure, a moment it'll beep, and we'll be in cook mode. 
In the meantime, I had a bit of a coffee break and the cabbage rolls are seven minutes away from being done. In both cases, I will let these pots depressurize naturally. And here's the meatloaf, believe it or not. It's a different kind of meatloaf, but oh boy, does it smell good.